Hello again. In the last video, we explained what is the make file. And in this video, we are going to build our simple C++ program with a make file. So, in this folder, I have a main.cpp and a make file. Right now, my make file is empty. And in my main.cpp file, I have a simple C++ program that shows hello world on the screen. So, let's see how to build this with the make file. As you remember from the last video, I explained that makefile has a bunch of rules. That the rules is like that target, which this target should be built. And here comes the dependency. And underneath that, it's come the code to build the target. And remember, underneath the target, this code here should be indented. Otherwise, it doesn't work. So, in this case, we want to build hello program. And hello program is depend on main.cpp. Now we indent and we write the code that compile our hello program. So output is hello and we should compile cpp. Now if I here, this is my terminal, if I here run the make, as you can see, it's run this code that I wrote in the terminal and it just built my hello program, which you can see here. Okay. Now, if I run make again, as you can see, it says make hello is up to date. Why? Because we didn't change anything. Actually, when the, you run the make program, when it wants to uh, build a target, first is check if the target exists, which in this case, our target exists. And then check if one of its dependency also change. For example, we have here main.cpp as a dependency. So now let's make a change here, add another hello. All right. Now, if I run make, as you can see, it recompile my hello program. And why? Because the main.cpp is changed. C++ compiler compile C++ code through several steps. First, C++ compiler take the main.cpp and change it to an object file. And then after that, it's going to change that object file to an executable program, like hello. So now we are going to change our program according to those steps. So I will delete this one. And in here, I will say hello is depend on main.o, which is the main object file. And here I will say g++ output hello program. And here I'm going to say main.o, which create an hello executable file out of the main.o. Okay, but in this time we also should uh, make rules for building main.o. So here I will say main.o is depend on main.cpp and here we should define the code that uh, build our object file. So for building the object file we should use c flags to build the object file. And output is main.o, main.cpp. I will clear here. And if I run make, as you can see, first it's come to hello. And it sees that hellos depend on main.o. And, and as the main.o does not exist here, it's going to run this code, main.o. And it sees that main o that is depend on main.cpp, which already exists here. And it's going to run the code for making main.object file. So as you can see, it first created the object file, and then it created our hello program. When you are using make file, you should think reverse. So you should go in a reverse direction. You should first write hello, and okay. Hello is depend on main.o and main.o also depend on main.cpp. 
Now here, instead of only have one .cpp file, I want to add another .cpp file. I added another log.cpp that has a log function and it simply take an string and it just print the screen on the console. So here, instead of using this code, I just say log. Hello. And semicolon. Okay. So now in this case, we have two files main.cpp and log.cpp so first we should create main object file and log.object file and in the last part we should link these two object files together and create the hello program so let's see how to do it so in make file i will say hello my program is depend on main.o and it also depend on log.o and here we should define another rule for creating log.o which log.o is depend on log.cpp okay and here I will say log.cpp so we should write log.o also here run the make as you can see it sees the hello it depends on main.o and log.o, so it should first create these files. So it's going to run this code that we define here and here, and at last we are going to make the our hello world program. And if I now change only one of these files, for example, if I change this file, so now I say, for example. Do it two times and if I run the make file as you can see it's going to compile only log.o and it doesn't it doesn't go to compile main.cpp and that is really good so now you know a basic example to how build a simple program with a make file but that's not all of it and in the next session we are going to explain how you can define a variable in the make file have a good time